Thank you for watching this video, Power Contracting in Brazil, how to close deals at special prices. The agenda will cover the two most important power price drivers in Brazil, closing deals and the local tradition, graphical analysis and what's new. Let me introduce Interact and myself. I am a consulting partner at Interact and Interact provides energy consulting services since 1982 and we have already contracted more than $600 million in power deals for industrial, commercial and institutional energy users and we have been there since the inception of the deregulated power markets in Brazil in 2004 and our company was awarded in Brazil and in the US. The first power price driver is of course the demand. This graph shows the national average power consumption in 2015 and 2014. Right now we are seeing a lower demand in the country. The second power price driver is the supply side. In Brazil's case, it's about the stored energy, which is mostly water, because we have more than 75% of our supply based on hydroelectric power plants. So the water stored in our reservoirs since 2002 has been dropping systematically, and this is a very stressful situation for power prices. Combining the supply side and the demand side, we come finally to what's happening in Brazil, a huge volatility of power prices. This graph shows the spot power prices in a 12-year time frame. There are two very important traditions here in Brazil. Energy sellers, for instance, they set up long-term prices very heavily based on the short-term prices. And energy buyers, they have a tendency to wait till the ongoing contract is about to end to then check for power prices. The proposed method is this graphical analysis based on two parameters, the marginal cost of operations of the Brazilian power system, which is in this case designated in the blue line, and the brown line, which is the marginal cost of expansion of the Brazilian power system. When the blue line is above the brown line, it's time to wait for new times because power prices should be very high. Accordingly, when the blue line is well below the brown line, it's because the time is right for power purchasing. And when the blue line and the brown line are close together, it's a neutral situation. Then the closing question is how to go for it. First, it's about understanding the concept, which is really easy and simple. Second, it's to recognize when there is an opportunity instantly and capture the opportunity. And third, close a deal and lock a really special price. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you would like to learn more about this methodology, make sure to get in touch with me.